hello everyone welcome back to my another lecture of the mathematics third for the third semester okay it is for the electrical and uh, ec branch so it is for those students okay so this is my third lecture probably on this particular subject so today i will tackle the topic uh, fitting of second degree parabola of the form so in the last uh, previous videos we have discussed about the straight line okay we have fitting the uh, straight line over there okay where we were supposed to remember only two formulas okay in this particular concept you have to remember only uh, three problem uh, three formulas over here so that you can easily solve these type of problems on the parabola okay so let me start now so the question is fit a second degree parabola of the form ax square plus bx plus c for the data given below so for parabola either this may be the equation or this may be the equation in the examination uh, y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c or y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square okay so i will tackle uh, in this video this particular formula so fit a second degree parabola of the form ax square plus bx plus c for the data given below x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 y is equal to 10 12 13 16 and 9 right so in the examination you have to write write like this let the curve to be fitted is y is equal to this ax square plus bx plus c means parabola okay let me call it one equation the normal equation of the curve are these three uh, equations you have to remember so that you can easily apply it to the problem given problem so summation of y summation of xy summation of x square y is equal to a summation of x square plus b summation of x plus nc okay a, uh, a summation of x cube plus b summation of x square plus c summation of x a summation of x raised power 4 plus b summation of x cube plus c summation of x square so it is very easy to remember see here it is a summation of x square it is a summation of x cube it is a summation of x raised power 4 so it is in the increasing order see a is same a, uh, summation of x square summation of x cube summation of x raised power 4 like that you will remember it so b summation of x b summation of x square b summation of x cube like that you will remember it okay here is no summation so you, here you have to add summation of x summation of x square like that you will remember it okay whichever is the convenient way to remember so re you have to remember these formulas so that you can solve so now uh, it is the easy part you have to just draw the table like this x y so see here whatever is required in the formula you have to write down so this is your summation of x y you have to calculate it so write down x y okay and what is needed there uh, x square is also needed see here x square is also needed so i will do x square and x cube is also required okay x cube is also required and also x raised power 4 is required okay and also x square y is required see here x square y is also there and you have to uh, calculate the summation of these terms okay x and y are given what is the x value 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay these are x values y values are 10 12 13 and uh, 16 and 9 so this is your y now you have to simply multiply this x and y 10 into 1 is 10, 12 into 2 is 24, 13 into 3 is 39, 16 into 4 is 64, 9 into 5 is, uh, sorry this is 19 here, 19 is here, so 19 into 5 is your 95, okay, so then x square means you have to square x, that is 1, 2, 2 are 4, 9, 16 and 25, okay, this is your uh, x square, then x cube, 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8, okay then 3 cube is 27 this is your 64 and 5 cube is 125 hope you are following x raised power 4 means this you have to 4 times multiply okay this is your 1 this will be your 16 this will be your 81 this will be 256 and 2 sorry 625 will be this uh, 5 raised power 4 okay you will calculate it uh, in the calculator okay it is very easy part so x square y you will get 10 into this x square into uh, sorry y x square into y is uh, 10 into 1 is 10 24 into 12 so here it is 12 into oh, sorry sorry yes it is uh, x square into y means 4 into 12 is 48 okay 48 it is so next you will get 117 this 39 into 13 okay so you will get it then 256 you will get by this one 16 into 16 so then uh, 25 into 19 you will get 475 then you have to add accordingly you will get here summation of x summation of y summation of x y summation of x square summation of x cube summation of x raised power 4 summation of x square y you will write it accordingly so summation of x 
uh, it will be needed in the uh, yes 5 4 9 12 14 or 15 so uh, summation of uh, x is 15 then summation of y uh, 22 32 35 and 45 plus 6 that is 51 61 9, 70 you will getting 70 okay then x y when you sum when you do summation of it you will get to 32 summation of x square you will get 55 right so then summation of x cube you will get 225 okay then x raised power 4 you will get summation on as 979 and uh, when you just sum this x square y term you will get 906 now you have to put the value now put these values in the following equation respective equations so i can write down summation of y means 70 i am getting here so i can write down 70 is equal to a a is not given we have to find a value okay summation of x square what i am getting 55 so 55 times a i can write okay plus b is not given so i can write b summation of x is 15 so i can write 15 b plus uh, what is the n value n value sorry i have not written here that is one two three four five these terms number of terms are five so n value is five over here okay i can write down n is equal to five so you can write down five times c so this is your second equation okay next equation is summation of xy what is the summation of xy value 232 so 232 is equal to a a is not given okay summation of x cube we have calculated 225 so 225 times a and b is here summation of x square is 55 so 55 times b plus summation of c summation of x so c is not given summation of x is 15 so 15 times c this is your third equation complete x square y so summation of x square y is 906 906 is equal to a is not given okay summation of x raised power 4 is 979 okay plus this is your b is not given summation of x cube is 225 okay plus uh, this is c times summation of x square what is the value 55 c now you have to put these equations in the scientific calculator so let me show you how to calculate it so that you will uh, get a b and c value okay so see here dear friends you have to go first the mode option menu then alpha a a is here you are seeing it a is here so uh, you will get simul equation and polynomial okay so go for the simul equation one option and what are the uh, number of unknowns two to four means we have a b c that is three unknowns we have so you have to click on three so that you will get this interface okay try to put down these values now okay let me put down it 55 is equal to b value is 15 is equal to c value is 5 is equal to constant is 70 okay so 70 is equal to now next equation is 2 to 5 is equal to 55 is equal to 15 is equal to this constant 232 is equal to okay next is 979 plus 225 sorry 979 is equal to 225 is equal to and 55 is equal to 906 90 sorry this is your 906 which is equal to you are getting x is equal to 2 by 7 means 2 uh, 0.28 okay let me write it so your a value is 0.2857 so another value next next will is 0.48 so your b value is 0.4857 c value is which is equal to 9.4 okay so 9.4 you are getting these okay so you are getting a b c value as these now you have to put these uh, a b c value in this first equation okay so that we get a fitted curve for the parabola so see here i will write down the equation y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c so y is equal to what is the a value a value is 0 0.2857 times x square plus b value is 0 0.4857 times b uh, sorry b uh, x sorry x is here okay plus c value is 9.4 so this is your best curve okay of a second degree parabola okay so i hope uh, you are following this and uh, make sure you will share this video to all your friends who are facing some difficulties in the mathematics subject